Hello, mortal beings drifting in endless void. This is Xefigi. So, I was wandering between dimensions, as one does, and I stumbled upon this tiny weird one recently. The classic stuff. Rocks, planets, stars, endless void, the usual, you know. At first, I thought there was not much in there as far as interesting stuff is concerned, but I managed to find something that caught my attention at last. Floating in endless space, I found this huge box, and I mean huge! I didn't manage to open it fully yet, but I could get inside one of the sections, and there it was. Rudimentary technology from an unknown world, and next to this, a drawer named Video Games, which I can only assume is the name of the inventor of this whole system. Or maybe some kind of ruler that flung this whole thing into space, like Monarch Von Video Games, sending cultural stuff of importance for other people to find out, like me. I tried to plug everything in and make things work, you know, get a grip of what those machines were about, and it is at that moment that I realized I was digging up some ancient art from a long gone civilization. For now, I can gather a few things about this medium itself. I'm going to call it input-based visual interactions. Basically, as the name suggests, you have some sort of input coming from the machinery, in the form of something you press, usually. Then, the input is used in order to make some visual changes to another device through that interaction. Since those people launched it into space, I am going to assume it must have been some sort of cultural, societal, political outlet that shaped their whole societies through changing times. Surely, it must have been central to the construction of entire civilizations, but I can't come to this conclusion just yet. With the rest of the box sealed, there might be more answers somewhere in there that would enlighten me on the map. I have to investigate further. This is the recording of my analysis of that forgotten medium from another extinct world. This first IBVI that I'm going to interact with is called Untitled Goose Game. So the basis of my archaeological studies on the people that created IBVIs will start from there. This particular IBVI lets you control Untitled Game, the goose, as its main character. Surely a descendant of the famous monarch von Game, I would assume, since they share a last name. I firmly believe that this protagonist serves as some kind of vector for the intended audience. So that is surely what the people behind that media looked like. A distantly advanced goose nation. Furthermore, we have a few interaction possibilities through the IBVI in the form of basic movement abilities. It seems that gravity is a factor that affected this dimension enough for everyone involved to be stuck on the ground. Interactions also involve grasping diverse objects with our beak, which seems to have a powerful grip. This might be because we are some kind of mystical hero or historical figure for the geese. Most of the characters we encounter seems to be human, however, they do not have any speaking abilities and it also seems that they have infested most of the area. I'm concluding for now that the humans are some kind of pests that are living at the age of geese society, taking space and making their habitat all around. Therefore, I think the game has some strong political messaging going on. It's an outright cry for war against those parasitic life forms that must surely be at most barely accepted by the geese overlords. You get to pester and torment them, which is, I believe, a call to action. Maybe it is depicting history, or maybe it is speculative violent fiction against a common enemy of their society. I don't know enough about the dynamics to have thoughts on the conflict, however, but what is interesting to me is the tasks list that we are given as an IBVI actor. It involves getting food back from the human, as well as acts of vandalism and overall hostility. There is no tangible goal beyond just pure chaos. So it might also be just an outlet from frustrated geese over the whole human situation that have been creeping up. 
I will need further investigation, but the whole system of having to do those tasks led me to believe in a very strict geese hierarchy, with orders to follow, even for the greatest of goos. Maybe Untitled Game is a soldier. Maybe they don't want to do this. There is much context here that I still lack. But one thing is sure, there is resentment towards humans. And I must admit, it is a neat feeling going through the IBVI and interacting with the world. I think technically a lot of care has been put into interaction visual design. But the rudimentary way things happen, with clear black and white settings between humans and geese, makes me unsure about whether or not this is a late addition to the medium of IPVIs. Usually such basic stories of drastic divisions of races into incompatible cultures are either really early in the evolution of the medium, or a very controlled one through dictatorial means. Nevertheless, I am thrilled with my current series and analysis. I am looking forward to seeing more about those weird little pieces of art and getting more understanding about the geese world. I'll keep you informed with this drifting dimension journal, if anyone finds it, that is. Your regular dimension hoping struggles, am I right? <laughs> mm -hmm.